Hey guys, it's Thursday the 18th of September 2014, it's Independent Scotland Day. I'm on Victoria Street in Dice at the moment, I've got my, my election card. There's a lot of people have been asking me what actually happens um, during a, in this kind of a vote, but I'm interested in myself, so what I'm going to do is, if I could get away with filming it, I will. My polling station is Dice Church, Dr Cox's room. The Dice Church is right here. Ducking umbrellas as I go. That's the independent poll card. I'll probably get around the back so you can't see my address. I'm not that stupid. Oh, sorry guys, I've got to switch off my mobile phone. Can of film there, sorry. <laughs> What's it voted for? I managed to sneak in the, uh, the, the ballot paper so you can see what it looks like. I'll probably get into trouble for that, but you know. Now, I'm going to go back home, well, via Asda. So that's what happened guys. Well, people on Twitter have been asking me what actually happened to the voting today, so I've been vlogging it, so... <laughs> Say hi to my neighbours guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I voted. And with the footage I put on earlier on, with the ballot paper, I probably get into a lot of trouble for that, so... Um, it may not be on Facebook. It may not be on YouTube for long. But, you know. It's not like the, uh, the rest of the UK is going to see it, is it? I mean, uh, Northern Ireland, England and uh, Wales is not going to see that ballot paper. And I'm quite sure some of them would be interested in see what was on it. So, why not? I'm on South Esk Place at the moment, walking to Asda, being good, because I'm on my diet. What was that? My phone just buzzed, I think it was a text message coming through. Uh, being good instead of being, uh, instead of going on the bus, I'm walking, even although it's foggy. So yeah, that's what basically what happens in the, the Independent Scotland voting referendum, whatever it is that you call it.
there wasn't any, uh, I, I was expecting uh, yes and no campaigners to be uh, standing at the church, in the church hall, badgering us for a vote. But apparently, but there wasn't. There was one policeman sitting in the corner, I assume for uh, for safety purposes, in case uh, anybody uh, got a little bit got a little bit leery and arguing who you're voting for or what you're voting for. The voting paper itself was actually a lot simpler than I expected it to be. I mean, we've always had the yes and a no things on it, but then I thought it was going to be like a little bit more than that. Then, you know, who would you like to run the country if Scotland became independent and things like that. But maybe that's to come. I don't know. This is a whole new ball game for us. We're all going into this blind. Come on, Berrywell Road heading into Berrywell Gardens. I'm going to show you something here. I would have to double back in a minute, but quite a lot of memories in this place. That is my grandma and granddad's old house. The garage wasn't there before. That was a that was a little bit of a grass bit there at the side. Yeah, a lot of memories of that house. Now I have to well that double back, but there's this little bit here. I suppose I should have checked both sides before I crossed the street. He said I was going straight forward. Anyway, you guys will see this on YouTube later on today. I'll try and get it up as early as I can. But that's a new end of bingo for Scott Mills Radio 1 there, ignore that. Anyway, we're going into Berrywell Walk now. If you've got any questions about the Independent Scotland vote today, tweet me at Real Andy Gibson. But don't bother asking me which way I voted because I will never tell you. Well, that's it.